So now let's get to Matt Ryan, who did Davis throw for a fair number of yards last season, but the touchdowns were down significantly. He did not have Julio Jones, of course, in Atlanta anymore. Uh, he did not have Calvin Ridley, really, for you know, for all of last year, too. Uh, and, and basically, Kyle Pitts was learning his way. I, I guess the question that I would ask, because you brought up the name, is that I believe that Wentz, uh, you know, I'm on the same board as you. Like, I, I don't like Wentz at all. But is Ryan an upgrade over where Rivers was two years ago? Because if that is the case, at least we could say that Ryan could be a bye week fill-in, which is what Rivers was was in with Indianapolis two two seasons ago. You know, I I gotta be honest, I don't really think that Matt Ryan is, and it's definitely hard to tell because the environment that he was in in Atlanta the last two years was just, I mean, to be, it was toxic, right? I mean, it was like Julio Jones was in and out of the lineup, then no Julio last year, then Calvin Ridley was in, then Calvin Ridley was out. They gave him Kyle Pitts, but Kyle Pitts is, you know, a, a 21-year-old tight end, and then you have Olamide Zacchaeus and Brian, like just, you know, just a total mishmash of guys. And they probably had the worst running back talent in the NFL too. The last couple of years, you know, they bring Todd Gurley in, they bring Mike Davis in. It's so bad. They have to convert Cordero Patterson from a wide receiver to a running back. Like this is just all a mess. And the offensive line was horrible the entire time as well. Uh, and, and even in that environment, you know, uh, in 2020, he had a 7.3 YPA, 7.1 YPA last season. So I, I would guess that Matt Ryan will, well, not even guess. I will say definitively, I think he is going to perform better than Carson Wentz did last season. But Phillip Rivers, that last year in Indianapolis, you know, he was definitely, he was, he was no slouch, right? I mean, he threw 543 passes, 24 touchdowns, and, uh, you know, was really, you know, only 11 interceptions. And that was kind of always Rivers' thing was he was always a little bit too willing to throw um, an interception. I'll, I'll say it's close. I, I will say they are probably very likely to get a sort of a replica season uh, from Matt Ryan for what Philip Rivers did for them.